Hello good people, hope you're doing well. Welcome to Just Cuisine Kitchen where we are all about food and fun. In today's video, we are going to do a restaurant review of Chachoma restaurant in Mombasa. As you can see, the restaurant looks welcoming and spacious. There is plenty of parking. It looks just inviting. So as we get in, kindly remember to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. Chachoma restaurant is a beachfront Choma restaurant with a tranquil coast feel. It offers eat in and take out services for African and international cuisines. It is situated off Mombasa Malindi Road and it is open between 6 a.m. and 12 midnight. So as you can see we are now at the restaurant. On our right there is the restaurant which has an indoor setup and on the left we have a swimming pool it seems like it's not in use at the, t at the time I visited the restaurant. The two indoor restaurants are reasonably spacious and you can host your parties or your conferences at the venue. For the food section, there is a display of different variety of meat that you can choose from. So depending on your preference, they have both white and red meat. So you just place your order at this point you, you they will give you like the specific time they will take before having your meal ready and i can tell you the time they gave us there was no delay considering it's a busy restaurant i would give them a five star for delivering the food on time if you have been to this restaurant comment down below with your experience as always, let's just take a few reviews when it comes to food. Uh, Pauline said, awesome food, great service. I have been here severally, both with friends and family. It's always a joy to be here. The food is awesome and the ambience refreshing and the location right at the beach. Perfect. It's a great place to especially celebrate a party with a small group of up to 25 packs we had a great celebration of my sister-in-law visiting from ghana and she has such she had such fun and the friday band is just awesome with the lead singer belting song after song to keep the crowd entertained yes the place is pretty popular and the waiters can sometimes get overwhelmed but all the same my favorite waiter saumu always does a great job very light on her feet what's not to love i love chachoma that is in july 2022 atish said best place in mombasa been there with a friend on a recommendation did not regret it at all the food is delicious and the atmosphere is just wow. You have kids? No worry. They have a place to chill, live music, nice sea view. Just enjoy every single penny spent there. First review is by Kathy. She said, slow service, confusing concept. Being there with a friend, service was extremely poor took 20 minutes to get a drink confusing was also that you have to queue at the butcher for quite some time waitresses have no clue what to do ours promised a menu and never returned by the way that queuing at the butcher is uh, quite something yeah you queue for some time the next one is uh, lemayan he said great food poor service the food was amazing the service is terrible. We spent the first 15 minutes looking for a place to sit. Took another 30 minutes for waiters to take our drink orders. During that time, we had reached out to one of them who delegated to another who also 
who was also unavailable. I asked where he, the hand washing station was and I got a surprised look as if I should know yet it was my first time there. At the hand washing station, while I was soaping my baby's hand, a waiter cut me in line. Wow. Next one by Beatrice is lovely scenery and ambience. Went there for dinner with colleagues. Words are not adequate to express the taste of food. The staff are very professional and friendly. If unsure, just ask and they will guide on quantities based on your numbers. Very generous portions. Next one by Salim is perfect view, perfect atmosphere. Nyamachoma and pizza, excellent. Service can get a little slow as the place gets crowded on the weekends. However, we were well taken care of by Lucy. Yeah, so basically I would say the reviews indicate that the food is reasonably okay. Other than the queuing, the food for me was a five star. Guarding the service, um, I think based on the time that you have gone, it might take some time. Because it tends to get busy, especially over the weekends. So where we are right now is the outdoor seating area. If you also want to have your party outdoor, you can still utilize the space. Although I don't know how well you can, based on the fact that um, there are other people and the space is reasonable, it's fairly open. But they have an upstairs. I hope I captured the clip of the upstairs where you can be able to see, to, to just chill out and enjoy an outdoor environment i liked these seats they were swinging so you just chill out and enjoy your your breeze as you wait for your meal yeah so this is the top part they usually put tents from the outdoor area we now head to the beach as you can see it's just next to the beach now there's one thing i don't like about the beach those are men who approach you for the services they offer. Of course, they are in business and they want you to support their business. But you can't even have five minutes of your time without getting another person. You have already told one that you're not interested. Then the second one shows up. Comment down below with your take. Honestly, I support their business because whenever I want to maybe take the ride and all that But sometimes I feel like they are invading my space What's your take guys? We now head to the interior of the restaurant as you can see there is a TV There are some speakers and there's plenty of sitting space the other thing I also look at when I'm going to a restaurant is how squeezed you are or how spacious it is and like if you want to step out or if you want to just leave your table how efficient it is. As you can see their space is plenty you just move with ease and you enjoy your stay. So from the setup for me, it can either be formal or casual. If you really want to have the formal setup, you get to indoors. If you want to have the casual setup, you're free to sit outside. About their prices, if you saw when we were placing our order at the butchery, they have different prices and it depends on how much you can afford. They have meat as low as 200 but you see it comes with an accompaniment so at the at the very least maybe we can say the first meal starts from a thousand kenya shillings that's approximately ten dollars we are now heading upstairs to just see what they have to offer the upstairs is also cool but on this day they were setting up for an event so I'm trying to capture as much as I can, but I, I will be avoiding the people who are setting up. So the seating arrangement is uh, almost the same as what we have downstairs. And as you can see, you have a better view of the ocean. 
you could be further from the ocean but you have a better view and you can also see the people who are seated downstairs the problem again with the outdoor setup when the sun comes up uh, you're going to suffer so when you're choosing a sitting position you need to have to be cognizant of that part this is the beautiful setup upstairs i also liked it and the seats and the fact that there is also so much spacing in between seats so the next part is where they are setting up for the event i don't know whether they usually have a theme or it is just um, a coincidence i don't know that one i can't tell because i have not experienced but now this is how the setup for the upcoming event was going down they had not finished by the time we were leaving but this is how it was coming up i like it this would be a super ideal place for a, a birthday party um, any any party that you would want to have I love 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 their outdoor and indoor options although most people um, preferred to do outdoors for this particular day we were there the other thing I love about it is the atmosphere the ambience is just amazing of course anything by the beachfront is good the look is good the styling was spot on this is the upstairs bar which is also chilled yeah and we are done with the tour we're heading back downstairs as we were waiting for our food of course we ordered some drinks and one thing stood out for me for this particular drink wait for it guys by this time we were hungry and it was time to eat so as you can see the display is on point the portions of course like i said earlier depends on your pocket and your appetite you may have a big pocket but you don't have a huge appetite so it depends on your pocket and your appetite yeah and that is our delicious meal yes again i would give them a five star so if you are in mombasa and you're looking for a place to eat i would definitely recommend this place one thing i had forgotten to mention is about cleanliness dishes setup and an entertainment so as you can see their dishes are clean their setup is amazing the display is also amazing and even the environment itself was clean for us the music was good yeah and the place is obviously family friendly and if you have stayed in a, in an apartment which is far from the beach this is an ideal for you to have your meal so that you get to enjoy your meal and at the same time you enjoy the ocean but i have a disclaimer when you go to the beach far from where you're living you'll have this challenge of one change of clothes you'll have to figure out where to put your clothes as you enjoy the ocean and two the sand that gets into your feet by the time you try to rinse and rinse and rinse it becomes a problem but you know what that should not stop us from enjoying our holiday and enjoying our getaways and the ocean also comment down below with your feedback on your visit to this restaurant would you recommend it thank you so much for watching this video if you're new kindly consider subscribing if you are a returning subscriber and viewer thank you so so much for always watching our content we value you see you on our next one bye it's getting high with no friends.